What's up? Welcome back to Cali Hood Media Reactions, right? Where we react to all types of social media content as it occurs on social media across all social media platforms. We're going to react to it. We're going to bring it to you all the latest breaking updates as it occurs, right? So if you haven't subscribed to Cali Hood Media yet, consider subscribing to the Cali Hood Media because here on Cali Hood Media, you're highly appreciated. I do want to say shouts out to my member section. You guys are highly appreciated. Much respect as always, right? Hey, and another thing, go ahead and hit me with a all notification bell. Make sure the bell's turned on all so you don't miss a live stream, a video, anything to do with the channel in general you will be notified as it occurs right hey go ahead and hit me with a like or hit me with a dislike but the most 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 important thing is i want to hear from you guys i want to hear what you guys have to say so go ahead and smash down there in that comment section and feel free to go in and let me know what you guys think good or bad right now this is just my opinion. I am not stamping it. I am nobody, no shape, form, fashion. But I'm just going off the facts, giving a reaction to what has been put out there already, right? So with that being said, we're going to push forward with the whole reaction. As you guys all seen right here above, we're all here because Mr. Pastor Silver Lake said that he was gonna reply right that's what it was captioned my reply so i tapped into the video and i listened to it now one thing he's insisting that police reports don't matter okay maybe back in the days police reports would get you know they would get you know false information cops would write false information you know things like that right but we're talking about back in 2002, 2000s, 90s, 99, 2000s, right? 2005, maybe later, you know? But right now we're talking about 2024. And this recently happened, I believe it was in 21 when it happened. So, you know, to say that police reports don't matter, it's kind of crazy, right? So as you guys all know, Mr. Criminal made a video and in his diss track, he says he was never subpoenaed, he never testified, he never took the stand. Now, here's where the problem comes into play, because I have the paper, right? And the paper, whether you pointed, whether you went to court or not, whether you testified or not, whether you got on the stand or not. That day inside your home when you let those detectives into your living room and you told them that, you know, exactly what this man said the night of the issue that happened. And then you go as far as saying that your record label is for to help people change their life from gang crime so basically, you're telling the cops that you're pretty much doing it to take people away from gangs, right? No, it's all fine and dandy, right? But Mr. Criminal's saying that he never snitched because he never once went to court. Now, if it's in the transcripts, if it's on the police report, if... He was incarcerated and found at Big Tim's house in Mariloma. How did they still associate yourself with Mr. Criminal? How did it take that long to find out? I mean, you should find out within days of getting, you know, going and doing your own investigation and seeing why the cops were at your pad, right? But that never happened, right? So then Mr. Criminal says that he never once testified or snitched. My boy, it says on the paper that you said exactly what this man said. Now, to me, that's already enough to uh, capsize your ship, right? End your career, you know, especially because this individual is going so hard in the paint on other individuals, you know, and 
come to find out, you know, he was the one that was the fakest, right? And as you guys all know, Mr. Criminal is not Mexican. He's Argentine. He's not Mexican. He's not Rasa. So we can thank God for that. We bit a bullet with that one, right? Because he's not Mexican. He's from Argentina or somewhere over there. He's not Mexican. In his record, he says that why would he respond to Diablo or Big Tim's? Because he said he sells more records. Now, of course, you're going to sell more records when you come from a family who's already wealthy and you come from a family from Argentina. Of course, you're going to have money. Of course, you're going to have more success versus the homies from the Inland Empire who are really from the trenches and really trying to make it out off this music game and really out there catching cases and really out there catching, you know, doing what they're doing. Right. So, Mr. Criminal. You know, he should just go ahead and change his name. We're no longer going to call him Mr. Criminal. We're going to call him Mr. Pastor Silver Lake now out of respect because we know he, he took a, a turn for, for religion, right? So we're going to respect the man above. But at the end of the day, Pastor Silver Lake, whether he says he didn't do it or he did, what's he going to say now? Well, it's already on paper. What's he going to say now? That uh, somebody created it That it was generated by AI That it's fake I just want to hear his opinion When it comes to the police report Because in that video He did not once Address The police report like he should have You know and it took him four months Four months ain't it, To respond To the allegations when it should have only took you 48 hours so with that being said, you guys, go ahead and let me know. Do you guys think Mr. Criminal can ever come back from this issue? Do you guys really think that Diablo from the east side of Banning, who was on the main line, would be dropping fake jackets? Especially being on that side and knowing how delicate the situation really is and how you could get yourself in a wreck if you're wrong. So... Once again, like I said, Free Center, he's about to come home soon. And I'm pretty sure we will get more updates and more details as the time goes by, right? But Mr. Criminal showing straps and all that in the video. Hey, that's all cool. Drums and all that. But all those straps are legal because it says in the paperwork that your guns are all legally registered to you. So that means... That you really never really had a criminal record. Because someone who was really living that lifestyle. Nine times out of ten are not allowed to possess a firearm. Or a pocket knife. Or razor blade of any shape, form, or fashion. So to see you with all those uh, toys. Drums. Lasers. And flashlights. And then to read the report. And it says that all guns are registered to you. Yeah, it makes sense, man. It all comes back around in a circle and it's starting to be factual, factual, factual. This is not fake. This is all real. So with that being said, I'm going to wait on Mr. Criminal to address those questions. Address why you told the detective what was spoken that night. Address why you said that you're about changing the gang lifestyle and taking guys away from gangs. If you ask me, you're going against the program from the gate. With that being said, Cali Hood Media, hit the like, subscribe, drop a comment.